typical southeast Queensland storm is a big supercell thunderstorm, which is the biggest storm on the planet. We're seeing over 100 millimetres now for four or five hours on top of 71 hours of rain. There is climate change. We've warmed over a degree globally and almost a degree and a half nationally. Climate warming and associated summer heat waves are currently the biggest threat to the coral reef. And you've got specimens that may be 50 or 100 years old. These type specimens are really the crown jewels of museum collections. Corals are not just animals, they're actually animals and plants. Reefs have been around for 400 million years. Indigenous peoples are now reclaiming their Indigenous scientific methods. We are in relation with other kin, other living things. I come in obviously as a scientist, but from a first law perspective. My work is to bring this research with the voice of Indigenous people within community. Welcome to the elusive darkness of the universe. Everywhere we look, there's just too much gravity. That's not neutrinos from the sun. That's dark matter. Just more than one type of matter. We're exploring with so many different detectors. The two protons come together, collide, and in the products of that collision, dark matter particles will be there. Why might we now declare a new space race or perhaps even a new space age? It's about a reorientation towards space. I think it's inevitable that we will live on Mars. Mars is a fascinating place. Because it can reveal also something about very ancient Earth. It's amazing to think that there could have been these huge oceans on Mars. That discovery was so important because at the end of the day, that's what we want to answer. Are we alone in the universe? We've got some of the best universities in the world producing some of the best and brightest people. So I think it's a great moment for Australia. We're building a lab in Australia in a gold mine about a kilometre underground. The technology has crossed a threshold. This is absolutely one of humanity's greatest achievements. What we're trying to do is get people to see the world a different way. So it's a real new world that we're going to be coming to in the next 20, 30 years. We will see an industrial revolution again. There's a lot of opportunities for young people to make the key decisions as to what actions need to be conducted. You know, what you need is a passion about curiosity. We have real opportunities of creating culture conservation restoration projects that can bring in wealth creation. How do we shape the world going forward? How do we dream a new dream?